Welcome to our channel, Man and Business Matters. My name is Mutawe Dan Bosco and we are back for another episode. Today, we are summarizing chapter 5 of the Rich Dad Poor Dad. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, share and like. Chapter 5 The History and Power of Corporations Robert Kiyosaki opens up this chapter by looking at Robin Hood that came up with the idea that money should be deducted from the rich to pay for the poor in taxes. For Robert, taxes are actually paid by the middle class, especially the upper middle class, but not the rich. According to Robert, this has been the main cause of financial suffering amongst the middle class. Diving into the history of taxes, Robert states that in order for regular income tax payment to receive wide public support in USA and Britain, it was dressed as an obligation for only the rich. Public then overwhelmingly supported it. Unfortunately, it is the poor and middle class that pay for the taxes according to Kiyosaki. The rich simply resorted to forming corporations as a means of dodging taxes brought for them and thus under corporations their wealth is protected. So, the chapter rotates around the power of corporations. The rich hide under these corporations to have their wealth protected and it is said here that the rich do not actually pay for taxes, it's actually the poor and the middle class. So what are the key lessons in, within this chapter? One is that the rich have knowledge of the legal structure of corporations under which they hide to be able to escape taxes brought for them right from the start. Two, taxes are paid by middle class and the poor. The harder they work, the more taxes they pay to the government. You can either decide to enrich others including government or yourself. Working for money or letting money work for you are the opinions to choose from. Number three, the rich have money power and influence to change things in their favor. This is why the taxes that were brought for them are now being paid by the very poor who brought them. I mean the poor and middle class. 4. Money demands for special power and knowledge to keep it and have it multiply. Knowing to let money work for you other than working for it is one of the special power financially literate people and the rich enjoy. The rich also master the law, taxes, and how systems work. Equipping yourself with this power sets you apart financially. When you accept to work for other people, you lose some of this power. For instance, in this sense, you will be working for money other than letting money work for you. 5. Financial knowledge or financial IQ is a product of accounting, investing, the law and understanding markets. Financial IQ calls for the ability to be able to read and understand figures and words. This is under accounting. This puts one in a position to be able to understand the strength and weakness of the business. Investing. Having knowledge about investing aids the proper grasp of the right strategies and formulas to use in order to get money. The science of demand and supply and the technical aspects of markets. It is also prudent to understand the laws. For example, laws concerning taxes, corporations, and taking advantage of the opportunities they offer. It is also prudent to understand the law to avoid being sued. So, to work within the law, you must have a proper grasp of the law. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, share, and like.